Hello for video number four, and uh, we're going to talk about flow rate right now, and this is a, I mean, so I, I'm going to say it, all these math questions are common math questions, uh, because I'm trying to do the ones that you're going to see, and there's only like so many, there's probably only like seven types of questions that you're going to see on that test, and just in different variations, and uh, so this is flow rate, where they only give you the diameter of the pipe, and the gallons per minute, and you have to figure out feet per second. So the question reads, flow rate in an eight inch pipe is 500 gallons per minute. What is the average velocity of the water in the pipe in feet per second? So we got an eight inch pipe, eight inches. So the double, the double quotations is inches and the single quotations is feet. So this is eight inches, so it's an eight inch pipe. And the flow rate through this pipe is 500 gallons per minute, GPM. And we need to get to feet per second. Feet per second. That's, that's our destination, that's where we need to get to. And we're only given two things so now we gotta do some problem solving to get over there. So we have gallons per minute. That sounds pretty similar to feet per second, right? We have a unit of time and we have gallons, which we can't exactly get to feet, but we can't get to square feet because we know how many, uh, not square feet, cubic feet. We can't get to cubic feet because we know how many cubic feet are in a gallon. So let's try to convert our way as close as we can to feet per second. So we got 500 gallons per minute so let's get rid of the gallons so there are for every cubic foot there are 7.48 gallons there go the gallons now let's get rid of the minute and get the second so for every minute there is 60 seconds and that will give us cubic feet because there goes the minute That'll give us cubic feet per second. Cubic feet per second. And that number is, that thing is over here, whoops. That number is 1.114 cubic foot. 1. Point, keep this on the top. 1.114 cubic foot per second. So every second there's 1.11 for cubic feet of water going through there in, in any type of size. We don't know. We don't know. So let's take the second thing we know, which is the diameter of that pipe, and we can get it to a place to where it's, you know, square foot and cancel out the two feet here to just make one, you know, because this is cubic foot. We can take that three down to one and then it'll, it'll match. Because so right now we have 1.114 cubic foot per second and we want feet per second. So we have to be able to put an equation right here that is square feet over just nothing. We just need to get square foot, a square foot value over here so that we can cancel that out to be feet per second. Because when there's a squared here, this will cancel out and it'll just be the solution after you apply it, will be feet per second. So we just need to figure out a square foot value to put right here. And where can we get a square foot value? We can get it right here. We know that eight inch, the, the diameter of the pipe is eight inches. And so if you want to find just the surface area of a pipe, you do that 0.785 number that we learned about in this first video. And you do the diameter times the diameter. So eight and a half squared. So you can do that on a, one of those Texas Instruments calculators that have the little more buttons. But if you're just using the cheap calculator on the test, you can just do eight and a half divided by 12. It'll give you a crazy decimal. And then multiply that decimal twice. And then that will give you the value of eight and a half squared. I keep saying eight and a half here. Just don't listen to me. Look at the whiteboard. It says eight. Eight is what I'm trying to say. Eight divided by 12. And if I'm unclear on why I'm doing that, um, to clarify, I'm turning 
inches into uh, feet, you know. So 8 divided by 12 is going to give you a decimal. And so 8 inches is what percentage of a foot? And that, that that's what that decimal is going to be. Because that formula, 0 0.785 times diameter times diameter times height, um, can't be done with inches. If you have inches and you do 0 0.785 times 8 times 8, you're going to end up with a wrong value. You need to do 0 0.785 times a foot times a foot. It can't be inches. That's, that's a law. That's a law of math there. But, and that will give you the surface area of just this circle. Just this circle. Because in the past, what we've been doing has always been cubic foot. Because we want to solve for a circle that's like from here to here, right? We know the diameter, we know the height, and we want to know everything that's there. Well, right now, we just need square foot. Because we, we need square foot, right? So we're just solving for the square foot of this circle right here. You know, like how houses are square feet. That's just the measurement of the, the area, just on the bottom, just a flat thing. It's not, all, you know, the measurement of the roof and the walls. So it's just the floor, just the floor. So 0 0.785 times eight, and eight, 8 over 12, because you have to do these in foot. You know, you, you can't do that equation in inches. So 0 0.785 multiplied by 8 over 12 squared equals 0.348889 square foot. So now we can take this over here, 0.34889 square foot, and it does like we want it. It cancels it out, and it takes you to feet per second. And the answer, when you divide, so you, you put in your calculator 1.114 divided by 0.34889, you get 3.19 feet per second. Well, so this is the solution of that. So 3.19 feet per second. And that is 3.19 FPS. Feet, feet, per, per second, second. So it's kind of a funky deal how you, you got to know what to put where to get where you want it. But that's the beauty of math. It's problem solving. And if you, you take what you're given and you solve for what you need and you figure it out and it's a good time. If anybody was wondering what the quote on the back of this sweater is, this is a Homeboy Industries sweater. It was started by a Catholic priest in LA who's trying to get gang members off the streets and into jobs through his own little, you know, businesses that he started. His name is Father Greg Boyle. He wrote amazing books called Tattoos on the Heart and Barking at the Choir. I highly, it's my favorite book. I did a book review on YouTube too, so. Maybe you can find that out later. But anyway, the quote is, Sooner or later, we all discover that kindness is the only strength there is. So even if you think you're a tough guy, you're not a strength. You're not strong. You got to be kind. <laughs>